well YouTube can you hear that let's go around the door a second I can hear a little bit better yes that's the sound of my piano being tuned well, like I said, I am going to make another video of that, a video of that after it's done. But today I'm going to show you in this video, I'm going to show you that I've actually created another organ. Yes. One that I'm going to use. This is not a cyan light video. This is just me showing you all another organ that I made. So. Y'all might get a little taste of the, or of the piano while it's being tuned. So. This organ that I made is uh, is like the uh, it's like the other organs I made except this one uses all the draw bars, but but the first three draw bars are very very powerful, and the uh, the uh, rest of the draw bars are pushed in. If this was a real Hammond organ, that's the way it would be. Most of the draw bars are pushed in, so you still get more of that. Uh, Let me find another organ. So just like this one, I'll try to improvise for you a little bit. I'm going to just play some chords. So it sounds like this. I'll turn it down so I don't. Here we go. So it sounds kind of like this. like that and here's what this one sounds like just like that so that is my other organ. I actually plan on making more organs. And plus we also have my my song maker keyboard sounds, which I'm gonna turn the reverb off for this. Yes, and the other songs that, that I made in the videos where I did those songs, those are actually recorded on the keyboard. That's not actually me playing them, but I'm doing those to at least get some songs out there that y'all can listen to. So this is the My Song Maker keyboard tone. Kind of sounds really good in like the 32 note range. It actually sounds, I'm using a Wurlitzer sound, but I've taken out the first sample, first little bit of the sample. So now it sounds like the, the My Song Maker keyboard. And we also have the, that's my brass sound. This is the regular, it's like the world's, it sounds like the world's are right now, so, but in the Jingle Bells video and the Spanish Coffee video, that's the sound we made. This is the music box or bell sound. Same sound. Oh no, this is like a cable piano. sound here's the guitar sound for the my song maker keyboard but back to the organ let's go back turn the reverb back on back to the organ So that is it. That is my organ. It actually sounds more like the... You can also do this. <clears throat> I'll turn up the Leslie switch. Like I 
Like if you want all that drawbar sound in there and you don't want all the drawbar's power overpowering, you can always do this. And like I said, the Leslie switch just sounds awesome on here. And I can also hear my... Here's my bass sounds. I'm actually going to show you all some more synth sounds that I've done. Uh, before I do that, I want to show you this. I haven't reviewed this on Rolling Lover, but this is a new microphone I got. Which is good, because then I can do some... Now, the cool thing about this is, if you don't talk too much in the vocoder stuff, like, if you try not to talk too much, you can actually hear what you're saying. You just whisper, This is Rolling Lover 2021, demonstrating the Vocoder Glass Vocoder. This is the sound of my cable piano getting tuned. On Roland Lover 2021. This is the sound of my synthesizer. The cable piano is getting tuned. Roland Lover 2021. Wasn't expecting that to happen, but <clears throat> yep. This is a microphone that I got for my birthday a while back. Last year, back 2020. This is the Fafine microphone. And I will probably use that when I start doing some vocoder stuff. And I might actually do a demonstration of how to do some stuff like simulate reverb environments with the keyboard, but use the microphone. It's got like a, this on off switch on it is pretty easy to turn on and off. But I usually just leave it on just to, that way it's, all I have to do is just turn it on by pushing the, the mic hit button, and then I can do the vocoder stuff with the synthesizer, and then we can go out later and I will make a video of my cable piano being played when it's tuned, but now we're just going to focus on the synthesizer and the vocoder. So I hope y'all could hear that. Hope y'all were able to understand it, but that was a synthesizer. So yes, there we go. There's my, my Sawmaker keyboard. I'm gonna turn this down because this because I'm gonna be playing a lot of mini Moog stuff. So th these are mini Moog sounds that I made. <laughs> So that is the super saw wave, square wave. Now these can be uh, super square waves, so all I have to do is go into the oscillators, oscillator wave type. I can go in and do this. Or you can also uh, widen the the length of the super saw wave. Now this is also super square waves. So you can do. This also has vibrato, so I can do, I can do a super saw vibrato, square wave vibrato. Also the pitch bend on here is really cool because it, I can do that. This is a normal saw wave, so the square wave and the other saw wave are just like the two oscillators. But they do the same thing. This one has a wider LFO vibrato on it. So I can do. And with the master effects on, we have this is a delay. I have a delay on for the saw, the regular saw wave, and then 
for the square wave and the sawtooth wave. The normal super saw, but the two oscillators together. This one has a square wave on it. Uh, flazer, uh, phaser, sorry. And this one has a flanger, just to give more of that synth sound. So there it is. Here's my brass sound. Come forward a bit. Here's my clap sound. Doesn't really sound that good. It actually sounds good if you do more of a regular funk sound. Got a nice long reverb on it. I'm turning up some of these sounds using the volume knob, knob to turn them up so you can hear them a little bit better. There's my, my Sawmaker band uh, guitar. Here's a normal, here's the uh, piano sound I made for y'all. I showed you all in one video, which by the way I'm hoping my cable piano actually sounds like that. Just listen to that up there. Y'all might not be able to hear it that well, but yeah, that piano's been, he's been going at that piano for the past maybe five, ten minutes or so. So yeah, there it is. Here, let's, let's see if we can play that same note. Oh, that actually sounds just like the cable piano. So, yep, there it is. Here's like a, a deep bass sound that I made for the synth. And well, it can be used as a saw uh, lead too, but... No vibrato on this one, just a LFO. Pitch bend. There's my organ. Here's a clavichord sound that I tried to make. I'll play some on it. Try that again. But you get the idea. There's a clavichord sound on here that actually doesn't sound that good because a clavichord has two strings per note, and it's supposed to sound like that. Here's actually a piano sound that I haven't made that I have actually made, but it's like more muffled. Sounds like an out of tune piano. Here's my pipe organs, but we're going to skip those. Oh, very deep bass. This is actually plan on turning into a vocoder. It's a super saw sound, but I do plan on turning it. This is a really in your face super saw. Also, have no vibrato LFO on here, but I do have a full octave range, range pitch bend. Here's my organ. Synth strings. Well, I actually plan on turning that into a vocoder. Do it like the Roland D50. Here's actually an accordion sound. There's another another one that I made. Let me go back. These are actually not. Yes, I'm skipping through sounds just to find the right ones. What y'all are hearing that sounds like a toy piano, that's actually a clock sound I made, which I'm not gonna... Oh, there it is. Yes, some of the sounds are out of tune, but I do, that's why, why 
what I have intended for them to sound like. Here's the accordion. I can also do, oh, I'll show that in a later video. So I'll hit the dual button. Right now it's accordion and strings. Okay, there it is. So now I can do an accordion musette. set everything back. There we go. Everything is back. I'll also show you all some, oh, here's a Yamaha CP80 sound. I have a sharper release on it, just because I like it like this. Yeah, that's the CP80 synth, another synth string sound, which is more of a pad. Here's this organ, Bender Rhodes, which I have barking on it. So I can do hit the key soft, it's just normal. That's when the barking comes in. Also made a Wurlitzer sound. Oh, let me go back. There's the Wurlitzer. And now, it was kind of hard because you know Wurlitzers have don't have 88 keys as far as electric pianos go. They have 64. They have 64. You know, 61 keys plus three more down here. So I try to stay within this range whenever I play it. Then I also have a few DX7 electric pianos that I made. This is one of them. It's a regular DX7 piano with a sawtooth as another oscillator, but I have it set to where it kind of sounds like it's being modulated. X7 piano. Yes, I do plan on using these in music production. I can go back four more, and here's Another one which I don't think is actually quite as cool sounding. I mean, it sounds really cool, like if you're doing like Time After Time by Cindy Lauper. Honestly, I really like this one. organ sounds, synth bass sound. Then I have a 
regular acoustic bass or electric bass. Let's turn it up a little bit. Now these are monophonic because you know you're only playing like one bass note, one note for every bass line in the song. See, there it is. Another upright piano sound. Now all my piano sounds are normally in rooms, so I have them set in a room environment, so they sound like they're in a room. Sandstorm. These are like chordal synth sounds. Soundtrack, which is the like the Roland D50 synth, uh, synthesizer soundtrack. Now, if you're wondering why it sounds like it has a long release, well, that's because I have a long reverb on it. That's why you're hearing that it sounds like it has a long release, because it has a long reverb. So there it is. Now the, these chord synth, synth sounds are, there's a major chord and a minor chord. Also these I plan on turning into vocoders. Honky tonk piano. Let me turn that up a little bit. one piano sound I really like that I made on here too. Oh, here it is. Honky Tonk Piano again, but this is Attack Piano. Let's try a different song. You can actually hear I took one piano sound, I have it set on a normal piano sound, but I took another piano sound and actually pitch shifted it up and then took it down an octave so it sounds like a, like an extra piano is on top of another one, therefore giving it a, a more tacky piano sound. So that's why you hear a very tinny sound, that's why, that's what I've intended for it to sound like because you know it's an old tack piano. Because back in the old days, they used thumbtacks for these types of pianos. Thumbtacks or nails, one of the two. Yeah, I'll go into more detail, you know, about all, all those sounds I've shown you. And so, here's a note. Here's one. A synth pad with a nice delay on it. Here's what this sounds like. It sounds kind of like the Fargo on the Yamaha PSR E263. So I'm going to hit this note. Man, it just sounds cool. Here's what it sounds like without the master effects on. But there it is. Here's my percussive organ. Tonk. This looks like you're in a giant bar, bro. So here is Entertainer again. A little snippet of Entertainer. I can imagine, uh, let's see what Claire de Lune sounds like. I know it's not going to sound good, but here it is. Definitely don't do that on a real piano. Orchestra sounds. Here's a Korg M1 piano sound that I made. M1 
one. A loot sound. Now this keyboard, I have it set at normal standard transposition, but I'm just going to use this, these keys. Kind of sounds like a Baroque lute. A guitar, which I'm not going to go into much detail about later. Uh, at least not in this video. Vibraphone. Oh, well, yes, I actually made this one. I put the master, I put an insert effect. It's tremolo, but it sounds really cool. Just listen. And I actually did make that sound. So there it is. A couple sitars. This one's the normal pre-programmed sitar that I modified. Here's another sitar that I modified. I'll probably make a video uh, dedicated to all these Indian sounds. But you get the gist. It's a sitar. Another guitar. Chordal synth pads, major, minor, major seventh, ma uh, minor seventh. Oh. Here's a Wurlitzer electric piano that I made with a with an overdrive distortion. So there it is. I'm not going to show every one of these synth sounds. I'm going to actually make more of those synth sounds, and I'll then I'll go into another video showing every single. It might not be every single synth sound because I'm going to probably exclude those clock ones because those are done on another YouTube channel that I that I operate. But anyways, those are the synth sounds. Thank you for watching. And we'll just go back and you can hear the piano tuning again. He's actually tuning the piano. I'll open the door so you can hear it. Yep. There it is. Alright guys, thank you for watching this video. Yes, there will be a video of the cable piano once it's done being tuned. Oh man, just look at that cord cross in the <clears throat> on the window. There's the white light. Yes, I'll probably be doing some more blue light videos this week, maybe. Um, yes, I might. I know for sure I'm probably going to do one. And then I'll probably do another cyan organ. Maybe another uh, colors of music video with the accordion. So there we go. Thank you for watching.